Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on making a cell flash or blink using Excel VBA. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here fictitious data contained in this worksheet that I'll be using for this example. And in this worksheet, I'm going to focus on this score of 75 under this midterm variable cell C4. I'm going to arrange it so that cell C4 changes colors several times then returns back to a white interior color. So let's move over to Excel VBA, that's Alt F11, and the code that I'm going to be using will go in a module. So you can see here I'm on module 1. So I'm going to start by declaring a variable outside of any subroutine. So it's going to be DIM I as integer. Now usually when we declare variables it's inside of a subroutine. And in this case I have it outside of the subroutine so that as the subroutine runs the variable value will update through multiple iterations of the subroutine running instead of just resetting back to zero or whatever value it's set to initially. Next I'm going to start the subroutine. So this is just sub and I'm going to use the name for the subroutine change cell color. And hit enter and you can see it automatically puts the end sub in here. I'm just going to paste in the code here. So again I have this variable i declared outside of this subroutine. And then I have the variable D as date declared inside of the subroutine. So each time this subroutine runs, D is going to be reset to this now value, D will equal now. The variable I up here, as I mentioned, will not reset each time the subroutine runs. It's declared outside of the subroutine. So we have dim D as date and then D equals now. And now, of course, means this time, this moment. And we have application on time, D, so this moment now, plus the time value. In this case, I'm going to use three seconds. We have a comma, and then the name of this subroutine, so change cell color. So every three seconds, it's going to run this subroutine. That's how the application on time works. Then we move to i equals i plus 1, so this iterates. And then we have range c4. You notice here I have c4 colon c4. You don't need that. You can just have the quotation mark and the cell and the quotation mark. However, I left it this way because I'm going to show you how to run this across multiple cells. And it's just easier to have it configured this way. So then we have dot interior dot color index. So we're going to change the color index property. And then we have this choose function. So choose i, and then we have five values. So i is going to go from one to five, and depending on the value of i as it loops through, it's going to select a different color index until it gets to zero, which is the default color index. Now this isn't a traditional loop, like a for next loop or a do while loop. It's driven by this application on time. So it's going to run every three seconds. Then we have if i equals five. So once i iterates five times and the variable i equals five, it's going to run this code. i is going to be set to zero. And we're going to have the same application on time code, except notice here at the end, we have comma, comma, and then false. So this is going to stop the on time. So let's see how this code works. I'm going to go back to the worksheet and over to developer and macros. And I'm just going to select this change cell color macro and run. And you can see it starts off red and moves to like a light blue and green dark blue, 
and then back to the default color. And that's it. It's not going to cycle through any more colors. So you just have those four colors and then back to white. If you want this to work across multiple ranges, as I was talking about before, go back into the Visual Basic Editor, and I already have this set up. So it's C4 colon, and let's go C12. So C4 through C12, and I'm going to move back to the worksheet. Again, run this code, and you can see now it affects all of the cells that I specified in that range. So C4 through C12. And again, it's going to reset. So if you don't want this multiple color system, you just want to go between like one color and then back to white. And for example, red, which is a color index of three, we can change a few things here pretty quickly to accomplish that. So I'm going to add one more value in this choose function. Make that zero. I'm going to change the eight to zero, the ten to three, the five to zero, and this zero to three. So I'm just alternating between three and zero. And because I have six items here, I'm going to change this if then statement. Instead of i equals five, this is going to be i equals six. And I'll change this back to uh, C4. I'm just going to remove the second value altogether. So this is how it look normally if you just want to select one cell. So go back here. Again, run this from uh, macros in the developer ribbon. And you can see here it's just going to alternate between red and white. And when it cycles through three times, it's going to stop. So you can have a certain condition that's met that triggers this subroutine and it's just going to flash three times or blink three times to alert the user of for example maybe a low score so this score is 75 these other midterm exam scores are 80 so maybe when this score is typed in uh, you have a subroutine that evaluates this midterm exam score if it's below 80 it triggers the change cell color subroutine, something like that. You can also experiment with different colors. Again, I just used red and white uh, in this second part, and uh, blue, or two shades of blue and green in the first part. Uh, but you can go through other color index values and configure this in a number of different ways, this choose function. I hope you found this video on making a cell flash or blink in Excel VBA to be helpful. Thanks for watching.